Have you ever wanted a simple roadmap that you can follow to bring your creative imagination to life in Photoshop? Well, today is your lucky day. Hello, my name is Rickard, and before we dive in, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you who've been following along in this six-part video series. The response has been overwhelming, and I'm really excited to collaborate with the future students of Nuclear Academy 2.0. Now, what I want to do today is share with you my roadmap for learning Photoshop. These are the steps you need to grasp Photoshop swiftly, and more importantly, to start creating stunning digital artwork quicker than ever before, even if you're just starting out. I've coined it the Photoshop Acceleration Blueprint because it's designed to expedite both your learning process and your ability to produce captivating digital art. By adhering to this roadmap, you'll be equipped to create remarkable pieces that have the potential to captivate your audience, all without investing a decade mastering every obscure Photoshop feature, only for them to become obsolete by the time you're done. So without further ado, let's delve into the blueprint. First, some overarching principles. One, learn creative recipes. Rather than fixating on individual tools and settings, focus on mastering creative techniques akin to following recipes in cooking. If you wanted to become a better cook, you're not gonna pick up the user's manual for your oven and study it. Instead, you're gonna find recipes that are successful and make those from start to finish. And through that, obviously, you'll gain a better knowledge and understanding of your tools. Two, the Pareto Principle. You only need to grasp roughly 15% of Photoshop to achieve 90% of your desired outcomes. Three, prioritize creativity over technicalities. Creative principles trump technical Photoshop knowledge in achieving your desired artistic outcomes. I've seen people who are really good at using Photoshop, but they still don't get the kind of art that they want to achieve. And that is because they have focused all their energy on Photoshop technicalities rather than learning the creative recipes that they need or the creative fundamentals that they need to create the kind of art that they want to see. So I've categorized this roadmap basically into three journeys. We have your photographer journey, your artist journey, and your designer journey. And those are kind of bookmarked with what all of them need to do. So on the beginning end, you have the Photoshop journey, and this kind of just what are the basics that you need in order to even step into the program? So here we have being familiar with the UI of Photoshop, meaning the interface, um, the workspace, understanding layers, which is the most important palette of Photoshop, the basics of masks, which um, encapsulate selections and separating parts of a layer from the rest, and then finally, you have what are the essential shortcuts you need to navigate and move around the program itself. Next, we have the photographer journey. So these are basically the things that you need to know in order to use Photoshop as a photographer to enhance your images. So first is camera raw. If you're using any kind of digital camera, it probably has the ability to shoot raw and with Photoshop, you have the Camera Raw engine, which is the same engine that uh, Lightroom uses to process or develop your raw file into an image that Photoshop can use. Next, you have all the retouching techniques. So there you have all the tools for fixing blemishes, smoothing skin, and so forth. And these are basically removing unwanted elements and making your photo look nicer then you have compositing. So this is where you get into sky replacement, removing objects, basically anything that combines two or more photos together is compositing. 
And there's a whole bunch of tools in Photoshop and recipes for doing exactly that. And then you have your finishing touches. So this is where you're going to do your sharpening, um, add or remove grain, and then give your image a color grade, meaning an intentional coloring, and then also exporting that image. Um, you should be able to know how to print images, how to get the best out of your printer, and also how to repurpose that image for various devices, websites, and so forth. Next, we have the artist journey. So slightly different from photography in that you don't really need to know the camera raw unless you're the photographer. Most of your images are going to start flat. However, you do need a whole different set of tools, which is the digital painting tool. So that's where we get into the filter gallery, effects for photo to painting, brush settings and customization, and then we have the same finishing tools. Now, as a designer, as a graphic designer, you have a bunch of additional tools. And I will note here that there is a sequence to these. Um, you do start photography, photography first. Obviously, Photoshop is a photo-centric software. It was designed for photographs. And a lot of the tools that you need as either an artist or a designer are the tools that you're going to learn as a photographer. So if you're just beginning or if you're kind of taking a step back from your Photoshop journey and want to focus it, I would start from photographer, then do artist, and then do designer. Now for a designer, we again have all the compositing tools, but here we also have text and titling. You also have graphics and effects. So here, understanding the difference between vector and bitmap, shapes, patterns, the filter gallery, custom brushes, and more advanced blending. And then also here, we have smart objects and mockups, so setting up template files and so forth. Now, bookending these three journeys, obviously we have kind of the basics. And then on the other end of that, we have mastery. So mastery, these are the more advanced techniques. So automation, how to use actions, smart objects and frames, batch processing and so forth. And then we have more advanced photo tools. So here we have stacking, auto blending, HDR creation, LUT creation, preset creation. And then we have advanced graphics and effects. So multiple filters stacked on top of each other. Um, advanced brushes, advanced blending techniques, custom brushes, and advanced blending, and then advanced typography. So character paragraph styles, mass typography techniques, editable 3D typography effects, and variable typography. Now, underpinning all of this, we arrive at the cornerstone of our journey, and that is creative fundamentals. Now, a lot of training programs that I see for Photoshop kind of miss out on this. And it's the reason why I see so many people who've spent years learning Photoshop, but they still are not creating the type of art that they want. And that is because they haven't understood or learned the creative fundamentals that they need to create the type of digital art that they want to. And here we have the basics of composition, color theory, color manipulation, shape and form, light and shadow, creating depth. So here we're talking about atmosphere um, as well as color and perspective. And then the rules of type and then also symbology. What do various things mean when it comes to design or visual art? Because everything means something. So there you have it. That is the Photoshop Acceleration Blueprint. Now you can begin implementing these strategies on your own, and hopefully this video has already provided some insights, not only on what you need to learn, but also the things you don't need to learn. These principles and roadmap form the core of what we'll be covering in the upcoming Nuclei Academy 2.0. As many of you may already know, the Nuclei Academy 2.0 relaunches on Friday, April the 26th. In it, I'll be guiding you through my creative Photoshop learning method, empowering you to create awe-inspiring digital art 
without the need to master every nuance of Photoshop or wait another 10 years to start seeing the results that you want. If you're interested in joining us, please click the link below this video to join the waitlist. Now with over 50,000 subscribers on YouTube and more than 150,000 individuals who purchase courses or assets from Nucli, I'm aware that it can only work closely with a limited number of students at a time within the academy. While I haven't finalized the exact number, it's gonna be a number I can comfortably provide the personalized attention each student needs for success. So if you haven't already, be sure to sign up for the waitlist today so you don't miss out on this opportunity. You'll get early access and some exclusive bonuses. Together, let's embark on this transformative journey towards mastering Photoshop and unleashing your creative potential. In the next video, I'll be sharing some stories of people who've already taken this journey and the results they got from it, how they saw themselves improve as designers and as artists, and how you can achieve the same. I'll see you in the next video.